Hey guys, welcome back to my Wolfed Out New Vegas series. I am Roaring the Werewolf, and in this particular adventure, we help out the people of Good Springs. A person named Ringo got himself caught up in a bad situation that has to deal with a group named the Powder Gangers, a group of convicts that handle explosives. So, we decide the trick the powder ganger that comes into this town and decide to get everyone in our town all situated and armed up for the oncoming ambush. So, join me on this adventure and enjoy. Hey! I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Hmm. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Um... I overheard your argument. What was all that about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Hmm. Huh. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. What are you guys going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the Powder Gangers with him. Powder Gangers? Chang Gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Okay. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Alright, uh... Alright. What happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Okay. So if I help Ringo, Good Springs will like me more. What if I help the Powder Gangers more? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. So... Okay. Alright. Let's let's just break off topic for a little bit. Um, I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Do you know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Hmm. Did my attacker say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So do you happen to know where they were headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Hmm. Uh... Do you happen to know anything about the robot that rescued me? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. What does he actually do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. You don't like him? 
It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. How long has he been in Good Springs? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. All right, then. Fine by me. Um... If you want, I could take a look at that broken radio, since you gave me all this information. Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Hmm. So, what's with that man who you were arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. Hmm. All right, then. Be careful out there. All right, let's take a look at this radio. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. All right, I fixed your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. So can I get you anything? Be careful out there. All right. Now, there's a lot I have to do, but while we're here, and since that one guy who shot me knows that I think, well, thinks that I'm dead, I think we should help this town out. Now, let's talk to the convict first. He should be down here somewhere. Ah, there he is. What the heck? What do you want? What was all that you said about this Ringo guy? He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. Uh, is this territory yours? It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. Hmm. What were you in prison for? None of your damn business. You ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. Oh, I should... I should know if I should watch my step around you. Robbed some people. Burned some things. Killed a few guys. Hmm. How about I help you take over the town? What the hell for? Just farmers and ranchers out here. Not much worth stealing. Hmm. If you run the town, they'll have to work for you. Food, water, money. will be all yours. Shit, yeah. Mayor Cobb. I like the sound of that. Running my own town will give me more pull with the guys at the prison, too. First things first, though. You go settle things with Ringo and put a bullet between his eyes while I round up my crew and let them in on the plan. All right, then. While you're doing that, I'll be here waiting for my friends. Join up with us once you're done. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder... If I could trick him. Yeah. If I get everything squared up, I could probably trick him into thinking that we're running the town. And then kill him and his friends. Hmm. <laughs> that would be quite something. I will see. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? 
Uh, n no, I don't, I don't feel like playing the card game right now. Now's not the time. But did you happen to know that there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Hmm. What are you gonna do about them? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help you. We'd just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I'll ask around. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? Uh, I haven't talked to her yet. Oh. Well, I don't want to make a move until she's with us. Mm. All right then. Let's go ahead and talk to her. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be in. Uh, now that we talk to uh, Joe and trick him, we should be able to catch them off guard, hopefully. Hey, hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Hey, I'm gonna help Ringo take on the Powder Gangers. Are you in? Say no more. I'm in. Awesome. Well, well, hmm, that, that was pretty easy. <laughs> Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere. And Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Okay. Any ideas on how to convince Trudy? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Uh, would Chet be willing to give us his supplies? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Okay, how can I get Easy Pete's dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Mm. All right then. I'll be waiting. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Yeah, but you should help me take down the powder gang. Bullets, explosions, lots of fun. Um, near the saloon and the store are good spots to stage an ambush, if I had the help. That does sound like a good plan. Alright, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Mm-hmm. Be careful out there. Okay. And while we're at it, let's increase our survival. Medicine. And I guess... Yeah. Robot stuff. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? I heard that you got some dynamite. Would you mind helping us out? Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. I'm familiar with the care and handling of explosives. Very familiar. Uh-huh. 
Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Okay. Um... Hey, do you happen to know anything about that robot, Victor? The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Hmm. Okay. Uh, speaking of which, do you happen to know anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Uh. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Alright, let's go talk to... Victor. Let's see if we can get him on our side. Having a robot as backup might, might come in handy. Unless he chickens out. I'm not sure how Securitron's their weaponry is. Hey, are you decent in a fight? We could use more firepower if you have any. Trouble with rustlers, huh? Count me in, partner. Those varmints will be running home with their tails between their legs soon enough. All right, then. Happy trails! Hmm. Okay, I'm pretty sure Joe Cobb is waiting for me to actually shoot, shoot this Ringo guy. Hmm. Okay, uh, talk to the doc. And Chet is left. The doc should be easy enough to convince, especially if things are going to get... Hog wild. <laughs> okay, where are you? Ah. How are you holding up? Eh, yeah, pretty good. But the town is going to be attacked by bandits soon. Is there anything you can do to help us out? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Okay. Uh, they'll be using explosives. Do you have something more se for serious injuries? I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. Okay, good. You take care now. Now all that's left is for Chet to supply us with some armor. Supply everyone with some armor. You looking to buy some supplies? Actually, I need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Hmm. Thousand caps. Well, if you let them take over the town, then I'm sure your business would be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Yes. Alright, then. Take it easy now. Now, all that's left is to tell Ringo that everyone is on board.
So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny is with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Hmm. Hmm. Staying here for now. Give me a second. All right. I'll just wait here until you come get me. All right. Uh, let's see. Do you have any supplies that could help us out? talking some stuff okay what's the plan are we ready yeah let's let's go ahead and do this all right I'm ready I hope time to look alive the powder gangers are here to play all right how many are there at least six Joe Cobb included they look pretty mean Hmm. All right, let's go. Oh, Easy Pete came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Did we get them all? Is anybody dead? Check for casualties. See if everything's going good. If 
find a crumpled up note inside the mod blank case. It appears to have information regarding one of the gun runners missing mod fabrications. Interesting. We missed one. Uh, of course, it's Joe. Well, have it. Might as well flaunt it. Come on, man, he's tough. Gotta get you! Oh! Oh! You're going down! You're going down! <laughs> there we go. Idolized by Good Springs, shunned by the Powder Gangers. But maybe we can infiltrate their base and everything. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but. I know they'll understand once I explain things. Uh... I didn't hear you say anything earlier about not being able to pay me. Uh, you didn't have to do the... What? Whatever, you're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan Camp. Holy crap. Totally did it. That was a good old roundup. Hmm. Well, I'm not particularly hurt, but I guess I'm okay. Check for casualties. Anybody here that's not part of their gang? Uh. Looks like everyone's all right. Yep, everyone is okay.
That'll teach the powder gangs to avoid good springs in the future. Oh yeah. Until next time. <laughs> ah. I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Yep, yep. Got a special discount for you after what you've done for us. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Oh, I could use some of that. I could probably use some of that and this and all that. Definitely all that and that. And I. Yeah, let's 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 grab everything you got. Just. Just be nice. Who knows? We could probably create some interesting food with that. Thanks. Be careful out there. Ah. <sighs> well, I guess we're done here. That ought to keep things settled for a while. Hope it stays that way. I'll I'll make sure it does. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. What? Yep, yep, I know, I know. Hmm, the robot didn't help at all from what I've seen. Let's go talk to him. Plus, we'll set up base in there. Howdy, partner! So when do the rustlers show up? Um... Didn't you hear all the gunfire? Didn't hear a thing. Guess I dozed off there for a minute. Huh. There may be data corruption in one of your memory chips. Let me take a look at it. All right. We'll put everything back the way you found it. Hmm. Interesting. It looks like an override command was activated. Override command 16 Delta. Does that mean anything to you? Never heard of it. I truly am sorry I couldn't help you, partner. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? No. No, I'm good. Happy trails! Somebody hacked into him. So he wouldn't get damaged. Hmm. Oh well. We'll take a look into it later. Ah, uh, we could rest up here. Uh, since the robot does need a bed, I could use some sleep and some food. Hey guys, thanks for watching this Wolf Doubt New Vegas series. Remember to comment and subscribe if you so feel like it. Now, if you want to know the mods I use, I put them in the description below. If you want to check out my other LP series, you can do so on my YouTube channel. Now you guys, stay furry, and I will see you all in the next episode. Ba-bam!